Hey guys, welcome back once again. For those of you new here, hello and welcome. My name is Evie and today we are jumping back into some Planet Zoo. I know, okay, it has been a hot minute. Uh, your girl got COVID and then when I came back from COVID, I worked eight out of nine days. That makes sense. Um, so I have not had much free time, but I am back. The new update is out. I have downloaded it, so hopefully there is not too many bugs going on and hopefully my game doesn't crash. Um, I do not have the new pack yet though. I am excited to check that out though. For those of you interested, there is a new pack out, the Eurasia pack, I believe. Now I'm gonna have to read because I cannot remember these animals off the top of my head. In the new pack, there is the Winsett? Winsett? That can't be it. Wizard. Wizent. Wizent. Why sent? Why sent? I don't know. Uh, the wild boar, the wolverine, the taken, tacken. Butchering these for sure. Sega? Saiga. Who knows? Sloth bear, mute swan, and the herman's tortoise. Um, so those are the new animals in the pack, and I would love to get my grubby little mitts on them. But until then, we're just going to continue to play some alphabet zoo. We do have this little cutie patootie behind me about to have Bambino. Bambinos? I don't know if they can have more than one. Let's check that out, shall we? Um, Zupedia. No, they can only have one little Bambino. So exciting times. Let's see if we can get some more of that. But before I press play, we're going to go into the animal trading and there's no different lag given. So that's fine. Wait, 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 wait. Was that 30 seconds? You know what? We might just sit here for this 30 seconds. Have a little chat. Wait for it to refresh and then see. Um, but how have you all been? What has been going on in the world of you? Because it feels like it's been a hot minute and it actually probably has. Because I actually put that last video out almost like 20 days ago, which is wild. Fresh the list and no different colored light given. So let's carry on. I don't know if I have been habitat. Wow, I literally can't read. My brain is still like mildly brain foggish from COVID. I think that was who was having a baby. So like, maybe we'll just hang and watch her. She's going to climb. No, she's going to sit here and have the baby. <gasps> Stop it. I love that they've got like the black base of their hands and their feet. It makes them look like little skeleton hands and feet. I'm sorry. She didn't miss out on baby, did we? Um, I did miss out on baby. I'm sorry. Where? Okay. I need to stop zooming around in here because it, my game is not liking it. Where's the baby? Oh my God. Show me baby. Oh my God. It's so little. It's so freaking cute. I would love some color variants though. I don't know if like the two beige colored ones can make a non beige colored um, lar given, but we're just gonna have to deal with it. Okay, what else have we got going on here? Alpine ibex. Your habitat is not not at risk. It's fine. I promise you, you don't have a dirty enclosure. Actually, I'll even go over there and show you all. There is one barrel feeder that needs to be changed. That is not a problem, game. I think you might be a little bit dramatic. Capybara is about to have offspring. Okay, I'm a little bit concerned, but fine. Excuse me, bin knocked over? Unacceptable. My cash flow is going down, but I did cap the guests at two and a half thousand, I believe. So we'll just keep an eye on it. We'll see how that goes. I'm not having any real issues yet, but we will see. And somebody did mention about being able to turn off climbing for like the entire zoo and that should help with the loading. Now I do need, I'm a little bit unsure because if I do select the whole zoo and select disable climbing, whether or not like that's going to stop the animals from climbing the trees that I have in their enclosure. Cause I do need them to actually climb. I mean, I could always go back around and add like just hand select the ones that I need hand selected. <gasps> the little baby black formison, black formison. Yeah. Formison black bear. Wow. 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 My brain cannot function right now. Now I have a sneaky suspicion. I have a sneaky suspicion that I have not checked on the doll in a while. So let's go check on these bad boys. Actually, is this path okay? This is stopping a lot of congestion. I mean, there's a little bit here, but that should be fine. Hopefully, that's fine. What have we got in the way of doll? That these are all siblings. So if that is the case, I might might try and get some more female doll in here because these are the two are elderly and they probably won't be here much longer. May they rest in peace. Um, doll. Uh, I mean, I'll get her and I'll get her. Probably should have sent them into quarantine, but I like to live dangerously. 
Also, my koalas. There doesn't seem to be a lot of congestion around here, which is great. I kind of want to draw some more people down this way, though. So I think the next habitat I build will be down this way. What are we up to? We are up to... No, I already did. We did L. M. We are up to M. And thank you to everybody that did suggest what animal you would like to see in this episode. By far, the leader was the maned wolf. And as much as I'd love to put them in the zoo, I do feel like they are a little bit similar to the doll. Just enclosure-wise and everything. And I kind of want to mix it up a little bit. So I'm thinking I want to go with the meerkat today. As that was definitely a second favorite for sure. Because what, we're officially halfway through? Is this correct? And that's how much space it's taken up. So theoretically, I'm sure we can probably stretch out or just around there. I mean, it won't fill out this whole map, thankfully, because I think my computer would actually explode if I did that. I do need to go around and kind of fill in the areas just around, kind of in these spaces, just to fill out the zoo a little bit more because it is starting to look a bit sparse and down along the outskirts. I actually think I might just want to have this all as shrubland over here. I don't think I want to try and create another habitat in this area. I'll probably try and spread it around this way if I'm going to do anything. So let's get into the animal trading and see if we can find some meerkats. Meerkat. Before we do that, let's go to the Zoopedia and see how many we can actually have in one single habitat. Okay, we can have a fair few. So maybe we'll aim for like eight. We'll try and go, actually. Okay, we technically don't need too many because it does look like, although the alpha female is not necessarily the only one to give birth, she's mo the most likely to give birth. Holy shit balls, that is a lot of people waiting to get on there. I don't know if there's a delay because they're being held up somewhere or if that's just a lot of people wanting to be going on this. So I think we'll try and aim for maybe maybe four females, four males. Um, okay, so it looks like, if anything, the males are going to be the hard ones to find. So I'm going to get... This one and this one. Maybe I just want the two. They weren't from the same one. No, they weren't from the same zoo. Immunity is not great on that one. We do like this. Ooh. <sighs> Delma, you're just not a great, great looking meerkat. I'm so sorry. I know that's a terrible thing to say, but I think I'd prefer Delma that has bad size and bad longevity than Yana that has low fertility and low immunity. I'm just going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. So let's get these little cutie papa tooties. And we will send them into a quarantine. Where is the closest quarantine? I guess it's that quarantine there. I probably need to... No? Okay. Um, okay, there we go. That was weird. Not sure why I wasn't letting me click on that. So we'll press play and let them do that because I need to see... I don't think they're going to need a very big habitat at all. So let's just say we want to have at most 20 meerkat... 400 square meters? That is so small. That is actually tiny. Tiny babies. Okay, I think I want to try and set up a bit of path. Alpine Ibex is expecting offspring. Nice, we like to see it. I find having pre-put in kind of paths helps me so much with trying to design like where the next habitat's gonna go because otherwise I feel like, I'm sorry. What? Oh my God, she's in a tree. I'm gonna pause Ross real quick because I haven't finished my sentence. I find it so much easier to plan habitats if I've already got the paths laid out. Like, otherwise I feel like I jam them too close together and you don't leave space for it to look like a natural zoo. It looks more just like really crammed. There's no room for anything. There's no room for decorations because you put everything too, too close. So I feel like putting a path down and expanding my zoo before filling it out does actually really, really help me. Three hours later. This is gonna take so long. <gasps> what? And the other koalas in the tree too? Did they fix this in the update? Is that why they're both in a tree? Cause that's great if they did because there was a bit of an issue with koalas and other things that are meant to be more tree dwelling, not being tree dwelling, you know, like just walking along the ground. But most of the time you see koalas in trees, they're rarely just like strutting across the ground. Like obviously they do when they need to move places, but I think they're safe in trees. Maybe that's why they do it. They also sleep for like 16 hours a day, which is probably why they do it. Okay, here we go. Little Barbie. Oh, watching them like look up. So freaking cute. I'm sorry, is there a Tui here right now? It is. Oh my God, that's perfect timing. What have we got? No, I don't want the buffalo grass. Thank you. I'd like the koala, please. Thank you. Emily, a little girl. Oh, stop it. Okay, 
I'll play Ipex fighting. I keep saying Ipex as well. Sorry, I was picturing an Alpine Ibex with Pex. Why am I like this? Okay, so who do we want in here? Who is the young Whippo Schnapper? 3.4. Mm. I think though that Baltran, Baltrain, Baltran. I think they're going to be inbreeding. So I'm going to send you to the trade center, Baltrain. I'm so sorry. Sorry to have to do this to you, but it is what it is. What else have I got here? Reduce crime? Hell yeah. Okay. I kind of like the idea of the meerkat being just here. Like it's only a really small habitat that they need. They don't need much going on. I don't hate the idea of that. Just so they're not congesting this part of the path. Hopefully. Maybe. But without further ado, let's jump into Time Lapse Eevee and let's get this habitat built. Hey guys, VoiceOver Eevee here. Just thought I'd join you guys for the speed build today. I just really wanted to chat and talk about the build as it was happening as I have been really enjoying watching other people as they talk kind of through their speed builds more than just music behind it. So I thought I'd join you today for the meerkat habitat build. Now for this build today, I did want to cheat a little bit and by cheat, I mean not build my own fences. I decided I'd use one of the actual in-game barriers and I wanted to give the chain link fence a go. I think that's what this one's called anyway. I'm probably wrong. As I just really, to be honest, could not be bothered building and crafting and placing every single fence line and using null barriers. And I kind of wanted to just take a shortcut and I actually really like how it turned out. It does look a little bit to too much at the moment, to too much, yeah. Um, but I do kind of only have chain links on two of the sides. And then the rest I do have rock formations on. Don't you guys worry. I know you were probably thinking, is she going to place a ridiculous amount of rocks in this habitat? Yes. Yes, she is. Now, I don't think that I've actually built for the meerkats since their, like, their launch. I played with them a little bit around that time. And then I don't think I've played with them since, which I've noticed more and more that I feel like I'm saying in this series that every animal that gets picked, I'm like, oh my, I don't think I've ever built for them before. I don't, I don't even know what animals I built for before I started this. Like, did I even play the game? I feel like I built for nothing other than like tigers and red pandas. That was probably it. Maybe the odd lion, maybe some of the bigger animals. I, don't, I feel like I'm always drawn towards the larger animals, like the elephants and stuff. Maybe it's because I just love elephants. I don't know, but I feel like I always put these smaller habitats on the back burner. Maybe they just don't seem as fun to build or as rewarding to build, but I loved this. This was such a quick build for me. I don't know why I don't do more smaller ones. Maybe this just flowed really nicely and it all worked out for me, but I just tried to keep it as simple as possible. And I think it might have had to do with the kind of biome that the meerkats live in, like this deserty slightly tropical, but like more of like desert palm, not tropics, I guess I should say. I loved it because it's like less is more when you are building these enclosures. I really liked putting in like the bare minimum, like foliage, more than foliage, foliage. I'm not sure now that I've said it. I just feel like you can't do too much with the desert theme because it doesn't fit with the actual look of the habitat and keeping it simple as well. The meerkats only needed, I think 20% maybe coverage or maybe a little bit more. Um, and I, did go over ever so slightly with the coverage, but I just said, screw it. The meerkats are going to have to deal with slightly too much shade because I liked how it looked and it was like 1% over. So I don't think it's going to kill them. I also realized that since the viewing dome update came out, I never actually have played with them. I've never placed one. I looked at it briefly, maybe on stream, I think. And then I never touched it again. And I said, you know what? Today's the day. I'm going to put one in the meerkat enclosure and it fit perfectly. I didn't even like start to think about planning it when I was starting to build it and it just, it slotted right in. But I did have to try and hide the monstrosity that is the viewing dome door. Hence why I kind of build a, you'll see in a little bit, kind of a backstage area for the meerkats. There is absolutely nothing in there. There is no bedding, there is nothing. It just looks like a backstage area. It's pretty much just to hide the keeper entrance and the viewing dome entrance. 
And I have really enjoyed building in the desert theme. Like I never usually go for the desert themes in these and I decided that I think I really like it. It's like less is more. You don't have to do as much. It's not like tropical where you can put as much as you want. There is limitations to the foliage that you can put in. Otherwise it just doesn't seem kind of true to the theme. So I don't, I don't know. I'll put it to you guys. I'm leaning towards for the next series on this YouTube channel, potentially doing a desert zoo. Does that Tickle anyone's biscuits? Anyone fancy that? Either that or I'd do the complete opposite, like like tundra, tiaga, like snow biome. Because I also don't usually work in those conditions and I feel like placing an animal that needs snow just sometimes feels really out of place unless it was like in a house or something enclosed because I don't know of any zoos doing fake snow outside for like a polar bear in 30 degree heat. Like it just doesn't make sense. And I feel like I never play with those animals because it seems so hard to actually get a nice looking habitat that works for them. But that's just a little thought that I was having that that may not happen. You guys can voice your ideas. I'd love to hear some for what kind of franchise zoo you would love to see next. Also with the new pack that came out, I will be getting my hands on it. I, if you guys are interested, I will do like a build by kind of pack overview and build some habitats just for those animals. If that's something that you guys would like to see. I know that the pack's already out and other people have already covered it. So if it's not something that would interest you, that's completely fine. But if it is something that would interest you, let me know. I have to admit though, I think my favorite animal from that pack will be the, I'm going to butcher it. Is it the Sega, Saiga, the antelope that looks like it's from Star Wars. Does that make sense to anyone or am I crazy for thinking that? Because it looks like a Star Wars character, I swear. Unless I'm losing my mind. I don't know what Star Wars character. I don't know Star Wars that well. But it was, I looked at it and I was like, Star Wars. So if you guys have got the pack already, let me know what your favorite animal from that pack is because they seem like a nice array of animals. I feel like there are some similar ones to what we already have, but they are also uniquely different. The boar isn't really calling to me at the moment because we do have the peccary. That can't be right. And the red river hog. And I feel like we've got a few types of boars. So the wild boar doesn't interest me as much, but I feel like I could probably build a fun little swampy habitat for them because I own some Piggly Wigglies. If you've been here long enough, you've seen some pictures of the piglets that we had born on our farm. But the speed build is about to wrap up. So I hope you guys did enjoy this little voiceover. If you would prefer to not have a voiceover, please feel free to let me know down in the comment section and I'll pass you back over to Real Time Eevee. Okay, we are back. This is the little meerkat habitat and it's actually far from little. They do have twice the amount of space that they need for 20 meerkats in here. So hopefully they'll just get breeding. And they'll just keep breeding, you know? Okay, but let's just have a little look. Ooh, I actually think this would make me feel sick if I was in this. Little meerkat. I did try and place it right near this. So hopefully there is a meerkats coming over this way so we are able to see them. I'm not fully sure why. Oh my god, I always accidentally put caps like on. Caps like? Yeah, caps like on. Okay, so that looks like it is connected and that's all good. So I'll just have to wait and see if anyone rocks up and actually starts using it. So let's get into facilities, not the viewing dome. We will get in some donation boxes here. Dole is about to have an offspring. Hell yeah. Which is great because I was concerned. So maybe I'll just put one there and not, not there as well. Um, I was concerned that we weren't going to have proper breeding. So hopefully it wasn't inbreeding. Okay, there is no power here. So that is a slight problem. Where does the power go to? You need power for these donation boxes? No. I'm actually thinking about putting a bit of a staff building area around the back here. So that's fine. I might just add in um, water treatment because I'll need that as well. There, and I'll add in transformer there too. I will add in a keeper hut. A little... I'll add in a vet surgery, even though I don't think we'll probably need one and a large staff room. Research center, I may as well add one. I feel like we don't have any on this side as well. I don't think I need a workshop. I will get a trade center in there. Why not? Oh my God, people are going in. Okay, in they go. Oh my God, and then they pop up over here. Hell yeah. Okay, let's get back to this while I, before I forget. While I forget, before I forget. Silly old me. Don't look at that parving. 
It is atrocious, but it's gonna work, so that's all that matters. Capybara is about to die at old, old age. Juanita! Is she already dead? Oh no, she's getting up. Oh no. Okay, well, she is dead, but maybe she's a zombie? I don't know. Juanita, no! Rip Juanita! May she rest in peace. Um, okay, let's get back over to here and add this to the work zone before I... Oh my god, was that balloons? It was balloons. Add these to a work zone. I forgot what I was doing for a small period of time. No work zones. Add that to the everything work zone and that should be fine. How is my staff looking? I'm wondering if I should get some more staff. Just the maybe caretakers, keepers and vets. There's heaps of vendors. Um, okay. Ooh, pause that. Paloma, where are you? Yeah, you're hiding in the bushes because you know you're doing the wrong thing. Uh, Paloma, Paloma, excuse me, Paloma. I think they're twins? No, I don't want the custard apple tree. Uh, so Paloma, you are gonna go to the trade center. Sorry, there is no frickety fracking family in this zoo. Um, giant otter about it in breed, that's fine. I keep getting these thingamajigs. What else is there? Eurasian lynx, okay, let's fix that bad boy. Cause Birdie has grown up. Is this Birdie? Dasha. Birdie, my baby. Birdie and Vladimir are both um, outsiders. So we'll pop them both in the trade center. So we did have twins. I did forget about that, actually. Alpine Ibex habitat. Meerkat has no keeper assigned. Um, I should be able to. Why can't a vet reach that? I'm going to see if that works. I'm really not sure. That should all be part of the work zone. Oh, no. Whoops. Why? That's a bit weird. I'm not sure why that happened but let's get another one two keepers we'll get another just one bet i reckon and another two caretakers and i'll make sure to add those into the work zone that should be all good let's add some information boards some education boards sorry not information and we will zhush all these up at a later date just make sure that we've got them going for the time being meerkat is expecting offspring already excuse me Delma wasted no time. Uh oh, okay, that was a big bit of lag. Quickly, save, 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 and then back. Um, okay, Delma. No, nope. shut. Delma, December year forty-one. <sighs> Let's look at this little cutie. Oh my god, she digging. Where's she going? Nobody knows. I forgot that they dug holes. I just literally completely put that out of my mind. How many can they have per offspring? Three to six. Great. <gasps> Tickets are underpriced. Even better. Let's go forty-six. Pick up sticks you know what i'm gonna make the child 30. i know i said i wasn't gonna increase the price but i am concerned for my zoo's money okay guest education and guest happiness is all that we are lacking in the zoo repu representation that is not even what it is <gasps> reputation oh my goodness which should be a pretty easy fix i reckon we are gonna make this a five star zoo if it's the last thing i do let's use this because there is a meerkat <gasps> just there now okay That'd be pretty cute, being in this little dome, doing this. Seeing a little meerkat walk straight past. I was concerned when I did make the habitat slightly too big. And that one's going to, oh hell yeah. That may have been an issue, but no, fine. Still saying habitat required, but I don't understand why. Okay, he's disappeared now. No, he hasn't disappeared. I kind of want to wait for him to get back out and see what he has to say. Okay, so I think... For some reason that's just a weird glitch that it's saying that there is no habitat connected because there definitely is okay let's follow this little cutie patootie while we finish this episode up because she is about to have a baby now also i literally just scratched my face and you can see that that is so <laughs> so distinct how hilarious actually let's pause for a second let's see what animals we can put in next week's episode which will be the letter n how have we made it this far through Okay, so for the next episode, we have the Nile Lechwe, the Nine Banded Armadillo, the North American Beaver, the North Island Brown Kiwi, the North Zawa Sulawesi Babarusa, which was a terrible pronunciation, Nyala, and that's it. That is the options for N. Those ones again are the Nile Lechwe, the oh, Nile Monitor as well. Did I just forget that one? The Nine Banded Armadillo, the North American Beaver, the North Island Brown Kiwi, the North Sulawesi, butchering it for sure. Barbarusa, Niala, and that is it. So if you do want to have a say, please don't forget to leave one of those animals suggested down in the comment section below so you can help me choose for the next episode. I will as well have a poll posted on the community section of this 
channel so you can vote via that way if you do want to vote anonymously i will probably have to put two polls up because there is too many animals to fit into one but let's get back into the game because this little bambino has to be pumping out bambinos literally any second now is she doing it front and center for everyone to see is she likely to go have them in the burrow is that what they do when they actually have access to burrows? I mean, it would make sense if I was an animal and want to do it hidden somewhere. Oh, that rock's kind of glitching through. <gasps> One bambino, two bambinos, three bambino, four bambinos. Okay, I think she's I think she's called it at four, which great. We love to see it. Okay, there is definitely gonna end up with a lot of meerkats in here. What did we get? We got two and two. Two boys, two girls. We got Juma, Bokang, Fail, and Kazamu. That is gonna be wrong for sure. <laughs> Let's look at one of these little cutie patooties. Oh my God, they are so friggin' small. I forgot how small they are. They're little baby beans. But thank you guys so much once again for hanging with me today. If you guys did enjoy the video, please don't forget to like and subscribe and turn the notification bell on so you do not miss when I upload next. Thank you guys so much and I'll see you next time. Bye.